The process of death. October 16, 2015. The process of death is something that all human beings are required to contemplate in numerous forms as well as experience. For some the process of death can draw forth a deep-seated fear caused, whether they are aware of it or not, by painful past life death experiences. The fear can also be of the unknown as well as past lifetime memories of loss reinforced by current reality experiences. The process of death is something which cannot be avoided when in physical form and is required to be experienced once as a part of the earthly experience. It would seem as if human beings are not prepared for the process of death, and yet when you begin to acknowledge your soul and spiritual pathway, you recognize that every day encourages you to contemplate and experience a form of death. When walking a spiritual pathway, the greatest experiences of death occurs within you as a process of spiritual evolution before your physical body dies. Every day in your physical reality you are invited to contemplate attachment and detachment, recognizing that attachment is an illusion while detachment allows the love of your soul to grow into its beauty and abundance within your physical body. You are constantly being invited to detach from your reality, material objects, loved ones, and even dreams or desires, this is to let go of the need for all of these, instead building bonds of eternal love and compassion which stems beyond the physical reality. When you allow yourself to detach and love unconditionally, you are accepting that the essence of a soul is eternal, and so a connection can never be broken, that everything you require is within you, ready and available for you to accept and that the earth is a part of a continuous journey of which your soul understands completely. You may also begin to realize that there is a purpose to everything, and a greater divine plan is unraveling which is designed to bring forth fulfillment for you, your reality, and every soul, if you allow this to occur. With understandings such as these, the process of death becomes more acceptable, allowing fears to be dissolved. You also begin to understand that the process of detachment allows illusion to die, therefore energies within you are constantly completing, finishing, and dying. Much of your reality is designed to encourage you to let go of attachments and to love unconditionally, this we label as detachment. If in your daily reality you are able to resolve within your being, perspective and energies of all forms of attachments, realizing that to love unconditionally is a stronger purer bond and connection, then when the death of a loved one arrives or even the prospect of your own physical body death, you will realize all you have to share in that moment is love. Every other reaction such as feelings of loss, pain, anger or suffering would have long ago been erased and healed, or you could say had previously had their death, therefore there is only love left to share. To experience such feelings as loss, pain, anger or suffering is natural and does not in any way diminish your level of spiritual growth. In truth detachment is a process of healing within which creates only love as a source of reaction to any situation. If such feelings do arise, it is important to experience them as a pathway to love rather than forcing yourself to exist in love when this may not be the way you are truthfully feeling. Detachment is the willingness to surrender to the Creator. It can be perceived as a loss of aspects of yourself such as your identity, character, or personality. However detachment is not at all about loss, rather it allows you to receive greater fulfillment and love. It is important to allow every situation within your physical reality to be a guidance to look within your being to discover more about yourself and truth. Even in the most challenging of times and circumstances, this remains true. Every situation encourages you to discover the abundance of love within your being, your capability to share love, your eternal connection to and unity with all souls, and your ability to receive love. Through the experience of letting go or detaching, you bring forth your natural power, understanding, and healing vibrations, which allows you to see, sense, and acknowledge beyond the veils of illusion which the earth seemingly holds. When the physical body dies it could be seen as the end of an illusion, the physical body after all is an illusion whereas the soul is the truth and eternal. The physical body houses the soul and also supports the creation of other illusions such as the ego, personality, and identity. Throughout your entire life you are experiencing the transformation, death, of these, allowing the truth of your being to step forth which also occurs at the death of the physical body. 
The divine plan of the Creator is powerfully influential when it comes to the death of the physical body and the end of a lifetime. The soul of each human being also creates a journey contract before birth, so the soul already knows the moment of birth into its physical body as well as the moment it will leave its physical body, this has already been prepared. The time of birth and death is created in accordance with the soul's larger picture of its journey through lifetimes. Imagine all the souls that are present wishing to experience the earth. The earth is seen as a lineage of time and yet it is all occurring simultaneously. Imagine now that each soul has a list of experiences and roles they wish to encounter to enhance their self-discovery. All of these roles and experiences must be pieced together as a puzzle, meaning that sometimes one earthly experience is short because of an imminent opening for another earthly experience while other earthly experiences are long because of the wealth of discover available in the lifetime. Sometimes as souls on the earth, there is no need to live a whole lifetime as the discovery which is required can be grasped quickly in the appropriate circumstances with the appropriate people around. If you could see the larger picture of your many lifetimes upon the earth, you would realize that you have been present with your loved ones time after time in all different scenarios and experiences. You would realize that you have never actually lost touch and that all of your many lifetimes are akin to a long day together where you are popping in and out experiencing a variety of things. Your experiences upon the earth are created through the belief systems you adopt from others and your past lifetimes as well as what the soul desires to experience. Any experiences, emotions, beliefs, or suffering unresolved in one lifetime is carried into another lifetime. It may not be your next lifetimes, as in your future, it could be carried into a lifetime in the past history of the earth. As you move through lifetimes, the resolution of some experiences opens up to allow new experiences so that a process of evolution and self-discovery or creator discovery can take place. When a soul departs the earth in a painful manner whether it is an accident or self-inflicted such as suicide, the soul does not continue to experience the pain on the inner planes. It is only when the soul enters back into a physical body that the physical, mental, or emotional pain manifests once more to be resolved and worked through. Many suicides take place because the soul is on a powerful journey of discovering self-love while also encouraging those around them to move into a space of self-love. In the lifetime that the suicide takes place, the person does not realize that their soul's greatest desire is to experience self-love. It is often that the opposite of what the soul desires is experienced in order to propel the soul into its desired outcome even if it is in another lifetime. Holding a connection and vision of love for those who have passed allows for your own growth and theirs to continue, supporting the eternal truth that all souls are connected and exist in unison. If a loved one has left their physical body then you may wish to achieve this practice to reaffirm the truth of the Creator within yourself and the other. First allow yourself to sit in meditation, breathing in and out through the front of your heart chakra, encouraging the light of your soul to fill your heart chakra. Feel your soul light as a beacon of love. Call upon the Creator to surround you in sacred pure love that knows no boundaries and can penetrate all illusions. Imagine the Creator's love penetrating your heart and merging with your soul. Feel the volume of love within your heart chakra increase and intensify. Imagine yourself as a miniature version of yourself existing within your heart chakra, as if in a sacred chamber of love. Think of the person who has left their physical body whether recently or a while ago and invite them to be present within your heart chakra. Imagine the person sitting before you. Say to the person before you, the truth of the Creator is love, we are eternally connected by the love of the Creator which protects, supports, and guides you eternally. I love you unconditionally, free from attachments, all negative influences of this or any other lifetime are released. The love I share with you is eternally present, within your heart and soul. Imagine love flowing from the heart chakra of the miniature version of yourself flowing into the heart and soul of the person. You may receive a response from the person, let go of all expectations and the need for a response, allowing yourself to simply experience love. Feel the love you are creating, manifesting healing, support and a sense of the Creator's unity within both of you.
exhale deeply as if your breath is carrying the person and the energy to wherever they are present in this moment, whether on the inner planes or on the earth, experiencing another lifetime. Simply hold the intention of letting go with your next deep exhalation. This practice can be achieved for any person or animal, whatever the circumstance of the passing or their connection to you. Your life is eternal. Archangel Azrael Channeled through Natalie Glasson www.omna.org